Hey, hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video, I will be talking about the copy behaviors of copy data activity in Azure Data Factory. So before I'm going to the video, I would like to introduce my channel that is Geek Coders and here I upload videos on Azure Data Factory, Azure Data Bricks, SQL, PySpark and so on. So if you're liking my videos, you can go and subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. So before going to the video, I will tell you the steps which I'm going to perform today. Or I will tell you what I'm going to do today. Let me open Azure Data Factory. And while we copying the data, you might have seen this option in the sync, copy behavior. Okay, and right now it is none. So if I click on this I button, then you can see define this copy behavior means define behavior when copying file from one file system like storage to the other okay when we copying the data from one block to another so you know we have an option what i mean in which procedure we want to do it so if i click on this drop down button then you can see we have this flatten hierarchy merge files and preserve okay which one which one we use to when I mean, which one we will use, you know, based on the scenario or based on the you know logic. So for that, what I have done is that I have these two containers, source hyphen two, sync hyphen two. This is the source and this is the sync. So here I uploaded two CSV files, and if I click, if I show you the data inside it, is that we have the header id name and then one a two b three c, and in testing dot csv is also the data same like this having the same like this is that id name and here one a two b three c now we want to copy these two files from the from one of the location and from this location to this another location so first we will see what does merge file means and what does it do so let me open my notepad for the reference is that merge file it combines data from all the files from the source and produce a single file in the sync and places them in the first level of sync directory. For an example, we have this directory one, two, three, and like we have this file in one of the folder and one dot csv, two dot csv, three dot csv, and we have we have to copy this file and we have chosen merge file option. So what does it do while copying the data from one place to another in the sync location? We will be having only one file okay which is the combination of these three files okay so we will see how we will do it and what things we need to do so i will choose here copy behavior merge file and everything is same let me like by default it is it is txt but i will choose here csv if i go to my sync part then i have written this source too and for this I will choose wildcard file file path because I have to copy copy everything you know in a folder that's giving folder so that's why I have written star.csv every everything every file which is in .csv format take it it is same and if I open my source data set and here you can see compression time is null now and the column delimiter is tab but we have seen csv the the Delimiter is comma, so I will use comma, and it is same. Right now, I am not checking this first row as header method. Okay, let me let me publish all, and then I will tell you you know what happens actually. So it will take some time, one to five seconds. It is done. I hope so. Mm, yeah done and let me do a debug now so if i open my sync part and let me refresh it right now time is 21 26 so this is the blob which is loaded here and if i click on the edit button you can see we have two two headers id name id name which is wrong right which is wrong i do not want like this moreover to this if i be go back to the source if i click on any one of it 
then you might see we do not have codes present also here right so what we will do we will go back to our copy data and i will click on this open button and here you can see first we have to enable this first row as header and then in the code character also choose no code character okay i think everything is fine now let me do a publish and then we will try to debug it again so if i do it let it is taking like it will take like two to three seconds it is done and let me go back to my sync container and if i search for the time 9 28 something then if i click on this edit button then you can see now right now we have the correct data 1a 1a 2b 3c 2b 3c okay and we have only one header let me cancel it and let me choose uh, another copy behavior before going to that i will tell you the definition of flat and hierarchy so it takes data or it takes file from one source path directory and place them in first level of sync directory okay so simple funda is that if i choose here flatten we do not want to do anything just choose flatten and if i do publish all then it will load two files and before going to that what will i do is that i will i will remove everything from here to make you understand because right now we have multiple blobs present here so we will not understand so let me remove these two also let me remove it so if you can see right now in the sync container we have nothing so let me debug it now we have two files and each file each blob or file have only respective data which is present in the source site okay let me choose another method that is preserve so with a name preserve you can you can think of it that preserve means you know taking that name keeping that name also you know taking the, the same thing keeping the same thing so it takes file from source path directory and place them in a similar path in the sync directory if doesn't path exist then it creates it you can see same file name as in source site so if i have if i go back to my source container and if i show you the file name of my you know the blob name or you can see the file name is testing underscore three dot csv and testing dot csv so it will preserve the same file name while loading the data let me do that let me publish it and then we will debug it so in the sync part you can see we have nothing with the name testing underscore three and testing dot csv i hope so the file name is that so if it is done then if i refresh it you can see we have two files present two blob present here with the same name if i click on this then you can see the same data which is present here okay so that's it so you know i have covered this copy behavior uh, option right now and moving forward we will be seeing how can we compress the data you know while copying it so you can see we have a compression type option over here then we will see it how does it work and you know how how to do that then we have many things present like here if i click on uh, you know 
setting option then you can see we have data integration unit degree of copy parallelism many things we have it in copy data and we can see you know how can we optimize the things while copying data right now we are not we are not touching optimization because i am teaching you the basic part of azure data factory so we have many things in here we have data flows we have you know multiple things i cannot elaborate in this video otherwise it will take you know much time so i will i will tell you in huge future videos you know about all these things then yeah for this video that's it i hope you have liked the video if you do do subscribe and share